internet. Today I'm going to be doing my TBR for the spring round of the seasonal series readathon. This is a new readathon um, that's three months long. It started March 20th and it goes through June 20th. And the idea is to try and complete as many spaces on this bingo board as you can in this three month period. The hosts, which I'll link down below, have a bingo board for each series. So you can either do the series that you are currently in, depending on where you live, or you can pick just your favorite season or just whatever, you can kind of do whatever you want. Um, since it is spring here in the United States, I decided to go with the spring one. So here is what that bingo board looks like. Now I've created my TBR based on just one row of bingo, but I am going to try and tick off as many challenges in the next three months as I can. And the books that I'm reading will actually count for multiple challenges, so it all works out. But the bingo that I'm going to try and get is going horizontally the third row. So the categories for that are first in a series, middle grade series, the free space, spring flowers, which basically just means that you need to use a flower as a bookmark at some point while reading the book. So it's almost like having another free space and green on the cover. So without further ado, I'm going to get into my TBR. For first in a series, I have Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I have never read the Shatter Me trilogy and now that trilogy is being expanded into a series because the fourth book just came out, I believe this month. But this is a very, very popular series on booktube and I want to see if I like it. It's a YA dystopian series. I don't know a whole lot about the plot. I believe it um, follows a girl named Juliet who's touch is fatal or something happens when she touches people but I can't remember exactly what that is. I've had an interest in reading this series for a while. I've never really picked the first book up so I thought this would be a good opportunity to see if I like it and then if I do I own the original trilogy and then I can jump into the fourth book Restore Me. For the middle grade series Square I have The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. This is the fifth book in the Heroes of Olympus series and this is the last book in this series as well. Um, I actually had this on my March TBR even though I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I really love this series. This series takes place after the events in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, which was Rick Riordan's first series, and it's kind of a mix of Roman mythology and Greek mythology, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I cannot wait to see what happens in the very last book, so I definitely want to get to this one. For my free space, I decided to just pick a book in a series that I really, really want to read, and that is The Dream Thieves by Maggie Seabotter. This is the second book in the Raven Cycle series. I read the first book, The Raven Boys, back in January, and I've been wanting to continue on since then, and I just haven't had the chance yet. I haven't had a whole lot of time for reading lately, but I definitely want to prioritize this book, so I knew it had to go in this TBR somewhere, and it should be able to count for several challenges, so it seemed kind of perfect. For the Spring Flowers Challenge, like I said, all that really involves is using a flower as a bookmark for one of your books, so really any of those could work, but I figured I wanted to have at least five books on this TBR, so I decided to pick one that will also count for other challenges, but I can make sure that I count off for this challenge too, so I decided to just pick out Wayfair by Alexander Bracken. This is the second book in the Passenger Duology, and it was also on my March TBR and I haven't gotten it yet, so like I said, I need an excuse to put this on my TBR, so I just decided to go for it. And for the last square in that bingo green on the cover, I have Blue Lily, Lily Blue by Maggie Stiebotter. This is the third book in the Raven Cycle series. And I know that as soon as I finish The Dream Thieves, I'm going to want to jump into this one. So it seemed like the perfect opportunity to include it on my list. So that's it for my seasonal series TBR. Like I said, this particular readathon goes through June 20th, so I have three months to read all these books. And I will probably read additional books from the series as well to tick off some of the challenges. And at the end of the readathon, I will film a general wrap-up to talk about all the challenges I completed, the books that I read for it, and... If I enjoyed it, maybe I'll do the summer one as well. So let me know down in the comments if you are participating and if so, what season you are doing. That will be it for this video and I will see you guys next time with another video.